Welcome to the Quit Vaping Podcast, the podcast designed to make you a non-listener. In this show, I'm not going to scare you away from a life of vaping. What I am going to do is show you just how good your life can be without it. Thank you so much for listening and enjoy the show. Hi guys, welcome to today's episode. So we're actually going to talk about a really amazing concept today and it's really important. I'm going to teach you some things. So if you feel like you've been in a hurry to quit vaping or you've tried over and over and like you're beating yourself up or you think you should have these tools down and you're not ready or you just are like trying to quit and because you think your life's going to be better on the other side of it and you're in an urgent rush, I would recommend you don't quit and we're going to talk about why today. Uh, But before I get into that, it's going to be a really good episode. Before I get into that, I just want to say it is Halloween in two weeks in Michigan. If you want to experience like the best day of the year ever, come to the northern part of the United States during Halloween because we have all the leaves changing. It's such a fun, amazing time. And I want to recommend you this. If you are looking for some good Halloween movies, um, When Good Ghouls Go Bad, amazing. And then obviously the original Halloween Towns amazing Halloween movies. They'll bring you right back into Halloween during like the early 2000s, late 90s. Fantastic, fantastic time period and just an amazing nostalgic time. Also, I want to add this before I get going on the podcast. I am decking my apartment out because I'm having somebody come stay with me for three days and it gives me a reason to just go balls to the wall. So if you want to see my apartment and like kind of get to know me a little more and see how I've decorated, it's totally gaudy. Like I went to the Dollar Tree and I just went all out. I spent like $100 and it's amazing and just so great in here and it's so corny in Halloween and I love it so much. So I've posted a post with 10 pictures on my Instagram. You can go check out my apartment and get to know me a little more and see kind of where I live and what I do and where I spend my time making this podcast. All right. Um, and the links in the bio for the Instagram, by the way, but, uh, today we're talking about not quitting today. And this is a really important concept. So if you feel like you've been rushing to quit, or if you are, have this sense of urgency over quitting, I want to talk to you about that. And I actually want to let you know that if you think your life is going to be better when you quit vaping, and if you're in a rush to get there, I actually wouldn't recommend that you quit vaping. And this is why. So I want to just drop a concept on you and I want you to really think about it. So the reason that we do anything in our life, anything, and the reason that we don't do anything. So the reason we take any action and the reasons why we're not taking actions that we want to be taking is because of emotions. Okay. Your emotions drive all action. And your emotions are the reason why you want anything. So let's look at some examples. And I really want you to think about this. It's a really important concept to understand, especially when you're trying to uh, change a behavior like quitting vaping. So if you want to be married one day, why do you want to be married? And the simple answer and the correct answer is because you want to feel a certain way or you think that it will make you feel a certain way, right? So if I want to be married, it's because I think I'm going to feel loved and wanted and valued and respected, things like that, right? Secure. Why do you want the car that you're dreaming about? It's the same thing, right? Because of an emotion, I will think that the car will bring me. It's an emotion I think I'll experience when I have that goal achieved. Why do I want the job that pays me $500,000 a year in the executive office? Because I think I'll feel loved and respected and important when I have it. I'll feel worthy. Why do I want the fancy house with the amazing kitchen and the island and the pasta arm, AKA the pot filler. (laughs) Sorry. I love those things. I like when I have a pot filler in my house, look it up on Google. That is when I've hit like luxury life, (laughs) even though I would never use it. Um, like I'm Italian. I don't eat pasta very often. So I just, I just want that. Uh, But like, why do I want those things? Because of the way that I think I will feel when I have them. The reason that you want anything, why do you want to be someone who doesn't use nicotine is because the way that you think you'll feel when you have, when you don't have nicotine in your life anymore, you think that you'll feel secure and loved and important and you'll have self-respect. Well, here's what I'm here to tell you is that emotions come from your thoughts and you can think thoughts that will create any emotion right now in the present moment without ever having to change anything in your life. So whenever I have somebody that's trying to rush into a new action or they're trying to rush into a goal to get the result, they're trying to rush into being a non-vapor, the reason that you're doing that ever is because if you're trying to experience an emotion or a whole bunch of emotions that you think being a non-vapor will bring you. So take a minute, really take a minute. Like what do you think is going to change about your life? What emotions do you think being a non-vapor will bring you? For me, I thought it would be self-respect. I thought it would be, I would feel loved. I thought I would feel healthier if that's even an emotion. I don't think it is, but I thought I would feel like more secure because of my health, right? Security is an emotion. I thought I would feel respected by other people. So it's important. Figure out what emotions you think that you want to feel when you quit vaping. 
And the reason why I think that's important is because then you can just give yourself those emotions right now. Did you know that you actually don't have to be a non-vapor to feel respected? Did you know that you don't have to quit vaping in order for you to feel self-love? This is a really important thing to understand. It's really important because if you are rushing to any goal, it's because you're trying to rush to a feeling that you think the goal will give you. But you could feel that feeling right now. And it's actually, this is kind of a mind twist, so think about this. It's actually the feeling that you want, you could feel that right now. And if I choose to feel that right now, then I will actually achieve the goal that I want. It's like, so many of us, we're chasing the result because we think that results bring emotions. But I want you to know that your results never create emotions. It's what we think about the result. If I have the car, I think I'm important. I think a thought, I've made it. This is the life. That's why I feel good. I think, look at what other people are thinking about me. They think I'm important, so now I feel important. The car doesn't bring an emotion. Cars don't create emotions. Not vaping does not create emotions. Vaping itself doesn't create emotions. It's our thought about it. So why not just choose thoughts that feel good right now? Because here's the thing. If I want to feel loved, and this is a big one for me. When I was vaping, I didn't love myself. It was really important to understand that because when I don't love myself, guess what happens? I vape more because I feel crappy. And why do we use nicotine? Because we want to escape emotions that aren't uncomfortable. Well, not loving yourself is a really uncomfortable emotion. <laughs> not feeling worthy, very uncomfortable. Feeling shame about my actions, very uncomfortable. How do I get out of it? Nicotine. And then also I overate and I drank a lot of alcohol and I smoked a lot of weed. It's like, feel the emotions now. What if I could learn to love myself right now as someone who vaped? Two things would happen. One, I would be able to quit. And then the other part is that I would no longer feel crappy about who I was. So I'd get to feel good the entire time I was learning to quit. It's not about the end goal. I promise you that. And I'm telling you right now as a business owner who always is setting new goals, literally every single time that I achieve that goal, I'm happy for about three seconds. And then I'm like, uh, okay, now I'm setting the new goal. So if I can't learn how to enjoy the entire process all the way through, I'm never going to make it a business owner and I will be vaping again. It's not about quitting vaping. Yes, that's an amazing result that I want everyone to have that listens to this podcast and that shines up for my program, my courses, but it's not about that. It's about learning how to feel the emotions you want to feel from creating the result, learning how to feel those emotions now the entire way through. I've been saying this to people lately, especially in my program. It's like, I don't want you to quit vaping until you learn how to love yourself as a vapor because it's in the act of stopping beating yourself up, stopping shaming yourself for who you are as a vapor. It's in that process that you learn self-love. And from that foundation, it's very, very easy to quit. Because when you feel love for yourself all the time, you don't need to escape yourself anymore. When you no longer feel shame all the time and you can just sit there in self-love and you are loving enough to feel the normal amount of negative emotions that are in our life, right? Like the normal amount of anxiety. When we're loving enough to experience that without beating ourselves up for it, that's when it's so easy to stop numbing our emotions with things like nicotine. So if you find yourself in a rush to get to the end goal, whether it's quit vaping or anything, but really it's quit vaping, right? I have so many clients and people that I talk to every day, they're like, they're beating themselves up because they haven't had the result of not vaping permanently yet. It's like, that's why you're still vaping because you're beating yourself up for who you are right now. So it's like, if you find yourself rushing, I promise you, if you're ever rushing to get to a goal, it's always because you think that goal is going to make you feel a certain way. And because you're not allowing yourself to feel that way right now. Listen, let me give you an example. It's really important to understand. I have a goal that I want to make a million dollars in my business. I really want this goal. It's going to be so exciting when I get there, right? Like when I have that goal, that's awesome. And it's going to be so fun. And like I get to, I'm like thinking of all the ways I get to spend the money and help people. And I know that every single dollar that I make in my business has come from actually changing someone's life in a positive way. So I'm like a million dollars. How many lives have I had changed to get that? How exciting. But it doesn't mean that just because I'm not even close to that goal yet that I don't feel amazing about it right now. Every single day I wake up and I don't have a million dollars in my bank account. I have way less than a million dollars in my bank account. But I don't feel bad about that. I don't look at that goal and look at the absence of it and feel like shit. And I don't wait to feel excited and good and loved and full and secure until I have that goal. Every day I wake up 
And I have that goal in the distance. It's way out in the distance. I love it so much that it's there. And I get to feel all the amazing emotions that come with making a million dollars without having anywhere close to that in my bank account currently. Because a million dollars does not create my emotions. My thoughts do. And I can think a bunch of good thoughts about that goal today that feel great, that inspire me to take action, that will actually create that goal. So many people, they're withholding feeling good emotions until they get the actual measurable result in their life that they can look at and hold. And that's why so many people never achieve it. If you are feeling all these negative emotions and you're trying to rush to the end goal to quit vaping, the reason why it's so hard for you to quit vaping is because you are not allowing yourself to feel all the good emotions that will actually lead you to quit vaping. So when I was making this program, I'm like trying to figure out why is it so scary for people to quit vaping? But like so many people can learn how to manage their emotions around eating or they can like learn how to drink less. And I think the reason is because we're trying to get to the, when it comes to vaping, like the mindset is I'm quitting forever. I'm never using that. It's all a deprivation mindset. Well, that's not how I see quitting at all. I see quitting vaping as I'm going to learn how to feel all my emotions and feel really good right now about it in my life so that if I still have the desire to use nicotine after that, I can totally do it. I don't have to deprive myself and have this one black and white line in the sand that I'm never using nicotine again. It's just, if I learn how to feel my emotions, all of them, the good, bad, the ugly, and I consciously choose to feel really good about my life and I allow myself to feel all the good emotions about the goals that I want, even though I haven't achieved them yet, then if I still want to vape, I can do it. And this is the funniest thing is like, I don't want to vape anymore. I really don't want to. I did it for a week. I have a whole, in my program now, you can actually see the whole week of me vaping and quitting again. And I created a whole bunch of amazing tools and craving exercises through that process in my program. But um, I don't even want to vape anymore. It's not because I'm like brainwashing myself that nicotine's evil, evil. Have you ever seen SpongeBob? It's a mermaid, man. (laughs) That's not what I've convinced myself of. I've actually unconvinced myself that nicotine is benefiting me. I don't think it's benefiting me. So I have no desire to use it. I feel my emotions most of the time. And I just never have a place for nicotine in my life. And guess what? I don't rush to try to get to a finish line anymore. When I put down my last vape, I was ready to put it down because I learned how to love myself and feel my emotions. So why don't you just do the same thing? So I'm designing my resources in a way that helps you to understand the tools and to apply them and learn them before you ever have to decide to quit. I am not a believer in forcing yourself to take any action. I am a believer in feeling your emotions and deciding after you learn how to feel them and apply the emotional work and apply the thought work that you can quit when you want to because it'll just make sense then. When you actually become someone who no longer needs nicotine, that's when you can put down your last vape. So here's what I want to offer to you is if you want to quit vaping, learn the skills I teach, learn how to love yourself, learn how to feel your emotions, learn how to question and analyze your own thinking and do that for as long as it takes until you're actually ready to put down your last vape. Yes, readiness is a choice, but it's a choice you make after you actually become a person in your mind and in your body and your, in your thoughts and your emotions. Readiness is obvious. When you no longer see yourself as a vapor, when you are someone who feels all their emotions with love for yourself and you choose what you want to think and believe, that's when you can put down your last vape. So if you're interested in the program, you've been thinking about it for a while, it's a lifetime access. And the reason I give you lifetime access to live coaching, a discord, like everything, all the material is always going to be changing and improving. The reason I give you lifetime access is because I think this is a lifelong work. You can put down your last vape at any moment. I promise you that. It could take you two hours of signing up for the program and you could just put down your last vape but it also might take you three months or six months. And here's the thing. Are you willing to spend the next six months learning how to feel your emotions so that you can quit vaping and make it last for good? Sign up for the program. Be there as long as it takes and learn how to love yourself exactly where you're at right now because you're there for a reason. Stop beating yourself up. Stop rushing. Do not quit today if it feels urgent and you feel like you're rushing because you think you're going to feel differently when you quit. Because your emotions do not come from results. They come from your current thoughts. And I promise you that if you don't know, learn how to manage your current thoughts, you're always going to be chasing an emotion that you can actually just give to yourself right now in the present moment. Although this might not be an overnight work or a quick, like easy button to success, I promise you this is the way that it lasts. And if you learn these tools, you're going to use them for anything else in your life. Because I promise you this. If you have any goal, you're going to need these exact same tools that I teach you on how to quit vaping. That's why they're worth learning and they're worth being patient and understanding and taking your time and taking a deep breath, okay?
<laughs> you guys are amazing. Um, check out the Instagram pictures because I'm going to take them right now and they're amazing and you can judge the shit out of my apartment, whatever. I love it. I'm like literally in, in Halloween heaven here today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. You was kind. You was smart. You was important. I will talk to you next week. Have a fantastic day. What's up, guys? I hope you're enjoying the show and that each episode is bringing you one step closer to becoming a non-listener. If you'd like to take all this information to the next level and finally quit vaping for good, you can check out the course link in my bio. Have a great day. See you next week.